The media when IDF soldiers get killed versus when a hospital patient is burned alive in Gaza. Nothing illustrates the malfeasance of the mass media like the vast disparity between how they're covering the killing of four 19-year-old IDF soldiers by Hezbollah versus their complete lack of interest in a 19-year-old hospital patient who was burned alive by the IDF in Gaza. A shockingly horrible headline appeared in Sky News on Monday reading, Israel names teenage soldiers killed in Hezbollah drone attack as 23 die in Gaza school strike, and 23 die is in scare quotes. It opens with the even more horrid paragraph, Israel has named the four teenage victims of a Hezbollah drone strike on a military base, as at least 23 people were reportedly killed in an attack on a central Gaza school. Notice the scare quotes and passive language in Sky's use of 23 die, and the way these active duty combatants are framed as innocent little children who were the victims of an unprovoked attack which killed them. The killings in Gaza are always framed by the mainstream press as deaths which passively happen, always framed with doubtful language like reportedly and according to the Hamas-run health ministry, whereas Israelis are always victims who are killed. The Western media's propagandistic use of language to frame Israel in a sympathetic light and Palestinians in an unsympathetic light is widespread and has been extensively documented. All the way back in January, The Intercept published a study showing that outlets like The New York Times, The Washington Post, and The Los Angeles Times used wildly different language to describe the killings of Israelis on October 7th than the killings of Palestinians in the months since, with inflammatory words like slaughter, horrific, and massacre used consistently with the former and never with the latter. Another report by The Intercept this past April revealed that this is not an accident. A leaked internal memo from the New York Times reveals the outlet's staff receiving explicit instructions to avoid specific language that harms Israeli information interests. Look at the way Sky News names the armed Israeli soldiers killed in battle while framing them as innocent little babies who were slaughtered by monsters. And contrast this with the fact that you're not seeing the name Shaban al-Dalo anywhere in the mainstream press. Shaban al-Dalo was also 19 years old when he died, but unlike those Israeli soldiers, he was a civilian lying in a hospital bed, and he died a much more painful and horrific death than them. If you've been on social media at all recently, you may have seen the gut-wrenching footage of Aldalo burning to death in a hospital bed while still connected to his IV after an Israeli airstrike on the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital, desperately crying out for help in a blazing inferno. As of this writing, Aldalo's name appears exactly one time in any article I can find on Google News, and it's from the Middle East Eye. The Middle East Eye write-up reads as follows, quote, Shaban Aldalo, a 19-year-old software engineer student at the al Azhar University in Gaza and a memorizer of the Quran, was burned alive after an Israeli airstrike hit Al-Aqsa Hospital, which killed three others. Shaban, who was forcefully displaced last year after Israeli forces destroyed his home, had just started his university studies in September 2023. Last week, Shaban miraculously survived an Israeli airstrike on a mosque that claimed 20 lives. Shaban and his mother perished in a fire after Israel attacked the hospital engulfing the tent camp for displaced civilians in Gaza, end quote. Any mentions I can find of Aldalo's death in the mainstream press do not name him, referring to him only as a man or a person, not a teenager who died in a fire. Videos from the scene appeared to show one man being burned alive as bystanders could do little but watch, the Washington Post reports. In multiple videos shared on social media and verified by NBC News, at least one person could be seen reaching their hands out from the flames as they were burned alive, reports NBC News. Contrast this with the solemn, reverent way Sky News reads out the names of the four IDF soldiers in its news segment about their deaths, repeatedly emphasizing the fact that all four were just 19 years old. 
Sky News, which Rupert Murdoch sold to Comcast in 2018, has been really working overtime to spin Israel's surging criminality in a positive light these last couple days. Its Sunday evening report on the Hezbollah attack which killed the four soldiers made not one single mention of the fact that the attack was on a military base throughout the entire segment, leaving the audience with the impression that Hezbollah had attacked an Israeli shopping center or something. A Sky News write-up on London's response to Iran's missile strikes on Israel came under fire for using a photo of the burning medical center in Gaza where al-Dalu was killed as its feature image, implying that the burning building was caused by Iran and not Israel. The massive disparity between the way the mainstream press report on Israeli deaths versus Palestinian deaths is evidence that the mainstream press are propaganda services for the U.S. centralized power alliance. But it is also evidence that Palestinians are not viewed as human beings by the Western political media class. As Lebanese writer Linda Mounzer recently wrote, Ask any Arab what the most painful realization of the last year has been, and it is this, that we have discovered the extent of our dehumanization to such a degree that it's impossible to function in the world in the same way. As Aaron Bushnell said before he himself burned to death, this is what our ruling class has decided will be normal.